Hello, my name is Elliot, and welcome back to another Spiral Stage Line video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create a chase and a queue. Let's get started. I think I might be showing you the queue in the first video of Titan 1. But yeah, I'm just going to do it again. Um, so, basically, hit your light you which you want. If you want. This is the queue first. So, if you wanted to create a queue, hit your light first. So, not hit it. <laughs> Um, just press which one in the group, so Colorado, Laser Scan. I've just been messing around with my um, laser because um, I've recently patched it into my um, Titan 1. So then it, it, it you know, just uh, test it out and see if it's all alright. So if you wanted to create, let's say, a movement first. So you put your dimmer up, don't press OK. Choose um, a position like this one, for an example, or this one, um, the positions you programmed in. Press shapes and effects, shape generator, create. And let's say you could go on pan and tilt, and you could do a circle if you want. You can change the speed of it and the size. Oh, gosh, sorry. Um, speed, size, phase. If you do that, um, if you go on phase, it will it'll, it'll all do it at the same time. It'll all be. All the lights will be doing it randomly, so it won't all be in the same position moving, if you know what I mean. So, just so you know, if you accidentally hit that, just go back onto effects. And then if you want um, to record that in one of the sliders, call it a name. Let's say, uh, I'm just going to call it Q, Q1. Oh, you know, I'm just going to call it anything. Um, you can call it anything you want really and then record that into the slider hit clear put the slider up and hopefully it should be working also if you wanted to do it both so you could do a flash and you could do it oops sorry <laughs> just hit my computer and um, if you wanted to do like let's say um, let's go on here correct you could do a dimmer pulse put the speed more up um, change the phase so uh, it will be doing it randomly or you know, from the first to the last. And then you could hit, let's say, circle, change your speed, record, Q2. Uh, I'm just going to call that for now. Um, put that on there, press clear, and obviously that should work as well. So I'm going to show you how to do a chase now. So all you need to do is go into fixtures and groups and basically press record create a chase put it on one of these sliders so oh, I forgot to call it a name sorry and um, you can call it a name if you wanted to but um, I will show you how to um, create a chase so all I need to do if you want to do do like from the first to the last let's say um, all you need to do is press the light you want put that up press that so now will say total steps one which means one light is, you know, one step has been programmed into it. So now put that light off. Put another one on. Put that on. Again, do it again. So two. Three. And four. So if, um, you could do a random strobe if you wanted to. So you could I'll do random. Um, or you can do any type you want really and change the name. So all you need to do as well now is when you put the slider up, it will come up with this Connect connected chase player box nine four steps. Oh, which you programmed in, or it might be completely said some different thing. So now what you can do is you can change the speed. So let's say to two hundred and fourteen BPM. I'll put it a bit lower, one hundred and thirty four BPM. And also do the crossfade, you know, you can have it non or you can even have it on 100 if you wanted to. So then when you put that up, it'll come up with that. So that's how to do a chase. Alright, that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed Um, I mean, I hope it helped you. But um, the problem is I've, I've tried to do a queue list and I'm not really sure how to do a queue list. But if I do sometime in the future... I'll um, record it and put it on YouTube so you know how to do it. Cue list. So I hope this helped you. So if you want to check out our website, it's www.spiralstagelighting.wordpress.com. Also, the links will be in the description for our email and our website. So 
thank you for watching and i hope this video helped you